Australia is full of places that are so unique, they really capture your imagination and sense of adventure. And the Flinders Ranges in South Australia, it's right up there. It's iconic. And if there's one car that epitomises this area, it's this one. But apparently, this car was a mistake. Flinders Ranges has been described as the world's greatest open air museum. And exploring this obviously ancient landscape, you can see why. And doing it in a four wheel drive reminds us why we own these cars and do what we do. If you come to the Flinders, you can't miss a sunset drive on Glass Gorge Road. Let's camp pretty much set up in Elsie. It's just a pretty simple one tonight. To have an awning or anything, so but so nice just having such a simple setup. Um, that drive this afternoon was just stunning. Just I don't know, you don't get a bad sunset in the Flinders, do you, Hole? No. Even if there's no clouds or anything, just the colours, just I don't know. It's indescribable, it's unreal. So tomorrow morning we will get up for sunrise, get some nice footage, and then we will go to the Nukalina mine site. So keen to see that. And what's for dinner tonight, Hole? Tuna Bukatini. So one of our, I don't know, a regular event. A regular. Yeah. If you've watched the show before, then you'll have seen it.
very early. <laughs> Sun's just starting to come up. Poor Holly didn't have very good sleep, so she stayed in bed just for a little bit longer. I thought I'd go for a walk. Some nice little hills over here. I thought I might be able to get a really good vantage point and get some shots of the sun coming up. It's a beautiful morning though, but it's freezing. It's cold. <laughs> just a rock fall <laughs> in the ranges over there that was crazy <laughs> I couldn't see it but I could hear it that's for sure wow <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful morning it's so nice Good. How are you? Better. Do you have a sleep? Yeah. That's good. I just sleep. <laughs> um. What's for breakfast this morning? Bacon and eggs. What kind of eggs? Scrambled. Yum. <laughs> How are we going? Good, I think we're all packed, ready to go to Nakalina Mine Site. <laughs> Glowing. <laughs> it's a cold night last night, so she'll be a bit coughing and spluttering. It's a really fine line between just revving it enough just to get it going and not revving it too much to blow the rings out. And... She loves it now, look at it, purring like a kitten. I said at the start of this video that apparently this car was a mistake. Here's why. When we bought this car, people said it was going to be a waste of money, that we were stupid for even giving it a go. It could well have failed, but we never would have had the crazy journey to go and buy it. We never would have had Jeff and Chris give up a whole week helping us get ready for the trip. These people are true salt of the earth Aussies. They changed our perspective on what generosity truly means. We had an amazing drive across the whole country, a trip people planned to do their whole lives. We learnt more about cars in a few days than I had previously in my whole life. We spent seven weeks fixing it up and painting it. We had no idea what we were doing, and it's not a great job, but at least we did it ourselves as a team. And driving this car through the Flinders right now, we don't feel like we made a mistake.
road out to Nakalina Mine Site is an easy track, good for beginners. I'd say the main thing to have for the Flinders Ranges is a good set of tyres with plenty of tread. So the mine ruins are about another two kilometres over that way. Uh, what we've got here, now the locals call it the old Irish pub, so whether Irish immigrants did go here to have a drink after working in the mine or not, I'm not too sure. But you can imagine them after work coming here, you know, I can't imagine the conditions coming here for a drink and just this building, it's incredible. Um, just the stonework, you can see the old cellar. There's lots of old glass around everywhere. You can even find bits of plate um, pretty sure there's a stables over there. We'll go have a look at that, but there's a little trough at the back. They probably, you know, to sweep it out. And then behind me, I think there's a dunny. So it's unreal seeing this kind of stuff. And some of the stonework on the little homestead just over here is just incredible. We'll go have a look at it. about oh, eight or ten rue carcasses in here. The Euros, they, um, in times of drought, uh, when they're gonna die, they like to find a small sheltered area, cave, or ruins like this, and they crawl in to die, just where they're comfortable and it's not hot. So, yeah, you can really see the effects of the drought. And uh, it's nice that it's rained. And yeah, you feel, you feel good for all the animals after seeing just how dry it was. Ready to drive? Ready to drive. What's the time for? Tea time. Just gonna have a cup of tea and then keep going. Nice spot for lunch? Yeah, it is a nice spot. At the base of some mountain. What is for lunch? Uh, we're just having some salami, rocket and cheese sandwiches.
This track from the Ardemore Ruins to Mount Padawerda is definitely a bit more technical and I would say a lift in your vehicle is necessary. Adding to our issues, we were running out of light and time. The new Falcon Wild PKTs we have on are going great and feel sure underfoot. If you want to have a look at any of the other products featured, there will be a link in the description below. The old departure angle is a little bit uh, impeded with the tow <laughs> So we've turned around, um, we're back at the Artemore ruins. And we were going to climb Mount Padawerda. Now, it was a pretty uh, tough technical little track in. Um, and we think we were pretty close to the walking trail, but we were running out of time, uh, just daylight, to, to climb it. And we thought we'd probably just come back uh, next time when we're doing a station stay at Angerichner Station. Uh, the owners there know the track in, so they could tell us more accurately where we need to go. Um, and then we'll just have more time and we won't have to rush. Um, to do the track. So, yeah, next time. I better not show people this. Drink driving. <laughs> Drink exploring. <laughs> There's Mount Padua. We were close to it. Yep. For a 40 year old car, I'm amazed at how well it goes off road. It's been a lot of fun driving such an honest old vehicle. And much like these goats, it always surprises me with where it can get us to. Point Well is located on Angerichna Station and if you're keen to book it for yourselves we'll have a link in the description below. Not only do they have this site but a huge range of options for anyone wanting to do a station stay, it's a great way to beat the crowds in the Flinders. Came up the hill here at Point Well just to have a little look. It's kangaroos hopping over the hills. It's looking so green and just the colours. Mount Padawerda just there. The light's just hitting it. And then these hills here. It's just, you, yeah, you can't get this anywhere else but in the Flinders. How are you going? Good. Nice sunset. Yeah, it was a really nice sunset. Very nice sunset. Pretty lucky.
What's for dinner tonight? Tonight, I'll be eating sausage pasta that Holly made earlier. Just got Elsie started up. We've had a beautiful night out here at Point Well. Just so good having the facilities, the running water, having a sink, toilet, shower. Uh, it just makes camping so easy. So this would be such such a good spot for a group of people. Um, and I'd love to come here in winter and get the donkey boiler going and have a nice hot shower and got the big fire pit here. And I think it'd be great, great little base to explore with windows from. So it's a really nice night. All right, we'll keep going. We're going to go to Anchorage Station now. These are some of the facilities available at Angerichna Station, catering for people wanting a bit more comfort to bush camping.
they also have the oldest working pine shearing shed in Australia. This video was supposed to go for a bit longer. We had drives through red dunes and on clay pans, but COVID had other plans. And we had to do another border dash. Not everything goes to plan, but that's all right. It's always good to take risks, just like this car was. For all the patrons who have supported us, for everyone who bought a sticker, for everyone who bought products from the awesome companies who sponsored the build, or everyone that sat down to watch every week with comments of support. Thank you. But this is why we own four-wheel drives. It's about not being limited to where you can go and the community you're part of. If you've always dreamed of getting out there and exploring this amazing country, take a few risks, get out there and see it for yourself. But now we're in the snowy mountains of New South Wales. We have lots of plans for this channel and we appreciate the support you have all continued to show this year, despite everything going on. We can't wait to show you our backyard. Until the next one, cheers.